to share a brief look at the North Face Surge in the North Face Black. Uh, this is one that I'm looking at next to the North Face Recon. Uh, I'm trying to decide which one I like better. So the Recon is just stuffed with some pillows. This has most of the gear that I would carry if I were going to carry something like this bag, although I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2010, I believe that I wouldn't normally carry just to demonstrate what a 15 inch laptop would look like in here. So I'm not gonna go over all the different pouches. Uh, a lot of people have done that already. I'm just gonna kind of show, taking out all this gear, what I can put in here. Uh, so this front kind of admin pouch, I've got a hard drive, I've got a flashlight, iPad, knife, Apple Pencil. Uh, I've got some wires and things in here little networky components, got little contact lens solution, band-aids, connects on the floor, uh, some cables for the iPad, adapters, things like that. So that's, that's your basic admin pouch. Uh, a little further, oh and by the way, the admin pouch does open enough to get to the main stuff while you have the compression straps closed. If you open them up, you can get a little bit further, uh, but not much further because the zipper stops there. So that's one thing that I kind of like about the Surge, um, so you don't have to detach these to get to the quick gear. So. so then we have the second tier pouch. I'm gonna go ahead and move over here. In the second tier pouch, we've got maybe a book. We've got maybe an expedition, uh, everyday carry kind of gear bag, uh, FR1, some stuff in it, and then maybe some clothes. We've got a couple shirts. This isn't packed very well, but just an example. A couple of shirts, some shorts, some pants, uh, maybe some socks, things like that. So what could you put in there instead? Well, if you wanted to, you could probably put a lens bag, maybe a DSLR down there with it. Maybe a little bit of room for a lunch on top. Not not a lot left in there once you start doing that. Um, so for a day pack kind of purpose, yeah, I mean, barely. Then in the back, this whole thing zips down, and that's where we've got the 15 inch right now. Uh, it does support 15 inch. This fits pretty tightly because it's a little thicker than they usually are now. But if you have a bigger laptop you're gonna have a little bit of an issue getting it in there. Uh, a 13 inch MacBook Pro would be fine, Airs would be fine, etc. cetera. Um, so that, that's pretty tight. So on the front, we've also got our pouches for uh, water on the sides. And I don't think that this will fit in algae, it might. But so this is a 40 ounce clean canteen and it barely fits in there when I've got a bunch of gear um, pushing against it. It's a little easier now. So, But that's a quick look at what all you can throw in here. Um, it's, I, think I like its handle. I think that that's, that's kind of nice. But I'm just not sure that I need this much bag. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at the Recon in another video and see uh, if I can fit the same type of stuff in the Recon.